Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So Apple just released Fitness Plus, which is their new subscription service for at-home workouts, which is the perfect time because, you know, a lot of gyms are closed down right now and a lot of people still want to be healthy and exercise and, you know, work on their body and their cardiovascular system. So having access to home workouts is slowly becoming a new norm. And I think Apple is releasing this at like the perfect time. So how Fitness Plus works is you have to have an Apple Watch. What it does is it syncs your watch data to the screen that that you're watching the Fitness Plus workouts on. It's going to give you real-time data onto the screen, which I am very excited to test out. So the intro to this video is actually recorded after I change. So I normally wake up with a robe, have a coffee and so on, and then I go do my workout. So let's rewind a little bit to that moment and change and get the workout started. Much better. So I'm going to be using Fitness Plus on my Apple TV just so it's a bigger display. So the new update puts it in the middle here. So I'll just click on that. So right away, it's got to connect to an Apple Watch. If it doesn't, then on the iOS and iPadOS version, it's going to say this. But if it's on Apple TV, it's just going to let you know that you got to pick who's going to actually be doing the workout. So do you want to do the workout? You just want to relax? Okay. Sounds good, buddy. All right, so it's going to be me doing the workout. It's going to ask me if I want to connect to the TV. So of course I do. And there we go. So now I can pick whatever workout I want to do. So there's hit, there's yoga, there's core, strength, treadmill, cycling, rowing, dance, which I probably won't be doing that one. And then you've got a mindful cool down. So like a meditation, stretching combo. Then new workouts every week. But right now there's hit with Kim, yoga with Jessica, cycling with Tyrell, and so on. There's a whole bunch that are all already on here. You've got beginner workouts, you've got popular workouts. It kind of ranges as well, different time frames. So the minimum looks like it's 10 minutes. It gives you a breakdown of all of the different trainers that are on Apple Fitness Plus which there actually looks like there is a pretty good amount of trainers. So that should keep it interesting and different just because each trainer is going to have a different style. Then there's a whole section just for simple and quick workouts. So you can see they're all pretty much 10 minutes or 20 minutes. So the one I think I'm going to choose is core with Bettina and it breaks down the workout, which is kind of cool as well. So you've got all the different songs that are going to be used in the workout. You've got related workouts as well. And you can do a preview of the workout so that you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Another really cool feature is it tells you what equipment you might need. So it looks like I need a mat and dumbbells. You wanna do a workout? Huh? You wanna do a workout? Maybe I'll just use you as a dumbbell. <laughs> Easy, you need some help. So I've just got a 20 pound dumbbell right here that I'm going to be using for the workout. This one is only 10 minutes long. What I'm going to be doing is doing a voiceover of the actual workout just because the music is going to get copyright claimed. Let's get started. <laughs> So guys, that was actually a pretty good workout. It gave me P90X vibes, to be honest, because I used to do P90X when I first started working out, and this felt pretty much like the same thing, just a lot better. Having the Apple Watch sync to the device that you're watching the workout from is just a really, really cool idea. And it's cool because the trainers will say like, oh, you might notice your heart rate getting higher right now, and then you notice on the screen it does, because maybe that exercise was tough, or maybe you were doing a bunch of reps, and it's cool that it just feels like they're there with you. 
The trainer that I got in my specific workout was really, really good, high energy, really engaging, which is definitely something you want when you're doing a workout at home because most people at home, you know, the motivation's a little bit lower. So having a positive trainer who has like that impact to make you want to try harder is definitely a big must have. And if all of the other trainers are like that, which I'm sure they are, then it's definitely going to be a motivating person that's kind of guiding you throughout that workout. It was really cool just seeing all of the data instantly on the screen. So like calories burnt, your heart rate, all of that. And then also since it's Apple, you get your activity ring in the top right corner and you can kind of see yourself completing that ring as you go through the workout. Another thing to keep in mind is you don't necessarily need equipment. It's just kind of like an add-on if you do want to use it. Right at the beginning of the workout, she says, you know, you don't need any equipment, but like if you have it, go ahead and use it, which is awesome because some people don't have access to the weights or, you know, yoga mats, stuff like that. So having workouts accessible to pretty much everyone, whether you have equipment or not, is definitely something that's really really good that apple took upon themselves to deliver but yeah that was actually a pretty good workout like i actually broke a sweat and it was only 10 minutes and since all the gyms and everything is really messed up right now i think having you know the option to do fitness plus workouts from home is definitely a really really good thing really good so far in my opinion and i definitely recommend to give it a try and like i said at the beginning of the video if you guys buy an apple watch you actually get three months of apple fitness plus for free and then it is a subscription so if you like it then you would just subscribe and speaking of subscribing, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because there is a ton of content coming out. I think today alone, I want to upload like three videos. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the Apple Fitness Plus review and first workout. I had a blast doing it and I was honestly surprised of how well everything felt for like a launch day product. And they add new workouts every single week too. So it's not like you're going to be doing repetitive exercises and workouts. They're going to keep it fresh, which is something really, really nice. So guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.